Country and pop star Leanne Rimes currently lives in a pretty impressive home, located in one of LA's most desirable neighborhoods, Hidden Hills. However, that wasn't always the case. Prior to this, Leanne lived in, yep, you guessed it, Tennessee, in a 23-room mega mansion no less, and if you'd like to catch a peek at both of these impressive homes, then keep watching. Leanne Rimes is an American singer, songwriter, actress, and one of the most popular country music stars of all time. After beginning her career at the age of just 13 years old, Leanne would go on to sell nearly 40 million records worldwide on her path to earning a net worth of around $10 million. These days, Leanne is married to actor Eddie Cibrian, and while they've been together since the late 2000s, the very beginning of their relationship, well, that was full of controversy to say the least. At the time, not only was Eddie already married to Real Housewives reality star Brandi Glanville, but Leanne was also recently married herself and had just purchased one of the largest homes in Nashville with her then husband, backup dancer Dean Shermay. Despite the home's massive square footage and even larger price tag, the implosion of her marriage would ensure that Leanne wouldn't get to spend much time here before she would have to place the place back on the markets. Afterwards, both Leanne and Eddie would pick themselves up a pretty stunning mansion in its own right, located in Hidden Hills, California, where they continue to live to this day. Hey guys, it's Kara, and today on Famous Entertainment, we're looking at the glamorous life and homes of Leanne Rhymes. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. At just 19 years old, Leanne Rimes was already a Grammy, CMA, BMA, AMA, and ACM award winner, not to mention a former Star Search champion. Back in 2002, she'd add yet another title to her long list of accomplishments, wife, after marrying her backup dancer, Dean. Barely out of their teens, these two would lay down $1.7 million. Well, I should probably clarify, Leanne would lay down $1.7 million in April of 2003 on a 7,000 square foot mansion on a country road on the outskirts of Nashville, Tennessee. But as nice as this place was, it wasn't exactly what they were looking for. Simply put, it must not have been epic enough because after selling this home for $2.1 million, Leanne and Dean would move into a custom-built 23-room property located on a rounded hilltop inside a gated enclave in the Nashville suburb of Franklin. How much exactly these two spent on the home isn't widely available, but public records suggest that they took out a construction loan of more than four million dollars at the time to build their own dream compound. Clocking in at an astounding 13,310 square feet, this home could operate as its own tiny town and contain six bedrooms alongside nine bathrooms. Considering that's only about 15 of its claimed 23 rooms accounted for, you just know it's got way more features to discover. For instance, the home comes with not one, but two kitchens, including a primary culinary space with a fridge that's just way too big for only two people. As for the dining room, well, all that glass that and closes it makes it feel like the very epitome of class. A short walk down the hand distressed wooden floors in the next unique room you'll find is this incredible home theater, which comes complete with mood lighting and stadium style seating. Meanwhile, upstairs, the master bedroom is about as elegant as you could ask for with its comforting color tones and an intricate chandelier hanging from the high set ceiling. The home is also said to boast a private yoga space as well as a music studio, which has been optimized for recording purposes. But the coolest thing is that no matter where you are in the house, each room has been designed to offer stunning 360 degree views of the surrounding area. Oh, and did I mention that there's an Olympic sized saltwater swimming pool out back? That definitely seems like a major selling point. Despite how amazing this home is, Leanne and Dean wouldn't get to spend much time here. Shortly after settling into this place in 2008, Leanne began an affair with Eddie Cibrian, resulting in the termination of her marriage to Dean and Eddie's marriage to Brandy as well. Leanne and Eddie first met while filming the Lifetime movie Northern Lights in 2008, and their romantic relationship would soon become public knowledge after images of them kissing in public surfaced thanks to the press. Soon afterwards, divorce proceedings would begin and Leanne 
Japan would offload this gigantic house for $4.1 million in 2012, which is only about 100,000 more than what she paid for it in the first place and substantially less than she was asking for when she first listed the home for $7.45 million. After blowing up their personal lives, Lee Ann and Eddie decided to get married in 2011 and then moved into this 8,642 square foot home located in the celebrity friendly paradise of Hidden Hills, California. This six bedroom, nine bathroom abode was available via short sale at the bargain price of just three million. Basically a short sale is often considered as an alternative to foreclosure. So lucky Leanne and Eddie, they got this place for about half the price of the previous owners. Needless to say, they were both super excited to move into their new digs and turn it into a home with Eddie's two sons from his former relationship. That being said, Eddie's ex-wife was decidedly not a fan of the move and at the time tweeted her a dis satisfaction with what was happening, stating that if she had to hear about her kids moving into a mega mansion one more time, well, she was going to get physically ill. Thankfully over the years, Brandy's relationship with her ex and Leanne has evolved into a much healthier dynamic. Maybe that has something to do with getting to spend some time in this fantastic home, which includes some truly rustic touches like wood beam high ceilings, brick and ceramic tile, cathedral like chandeliers, polished hardwood floors, and a romantic staircase with Spanish tile steps and a wrought iron railing. Outside of the remarkable detail work, the home also boasts two living rooms, each with its own wood burning fireplace and built-in and shelving units. Just down the hall, the kitchen comes equipped with wooden cabinets, a large island offering up plenty of counter space, and some sleek stainless steel appliances, including a six burner stove with a double oven. Meanwhile, the nearby dining room is fit for a queen and is no doubt a fantastic place to throw a dinner party thanks to its regal bean ceiling and that Spanish chandelier. Not to mention the massive arched window with a killer view of the property. Upstairs, Leanne and Eddie's master bedroom is about as comforting as a space you could want, thanks to the exposed wood, white ceiling, tons of natural lights, and that warm and cozy fireplace. As for their ensuite bathroom, it features some interesting green tile alongside a sunken tub and a roomy shower that's big enough for two. Rounding out the interior of the home, this place also comes with its very own fully loaded gym. Finally, the exterior grounds of the property take advantage of LA's warm weather with an ample helping of outdoor spaces. There's not only a dining space located out here with a fireplace all its own, but there's an accompanying sitting area that's the perfect place to unwind on those long summer nights. If you ever happen to be a guest at Leanne's property and the night gets away from you, rest assured, you'll have all the privacy you could need when you walk the short distance down a stone path to the detached guest house. Since moving into this house in 2013, Leanne and Eddie have continued to call it home to this very day, and I really don't think they're planning on moving out anytime soon. I mean, considering what this place looks like on the inside, would you? Guys, that's gonna bring this Leanne Rhymes house tour to an end. I hope you guys all enjoyed the inside look at her real estates and be sure to leave your thoughts on her homes down below. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.